Hey guys, welcome back to a uh, tutorial about how to do a screen recording. So in this tutorial, I want to show you guys how to use QuickTime to do a screen recording. So I've got QuickTime opened up here. And um, you can click on, sorry, let me close that first. Uh, you can click on new screen recording under file. And this will pop up now. As you're talking, you want to actually make sure that there are some sounds going here. So you actually should see this meter going up and down. Now the reason it's not going up and down is because maybe by default, you need to turn on your microphone. So you need to select your uh, internal microphone usually will come with uh, what comes with your uh, laptop. Okay, so now you can see that now that since I've turned it on, uh, this is moving up and down and you can increase or decrease your volume. Now, because I'm already talking, uh, we're getting a bit of an echo. And uh, so once that's going, hit record. And I recommend, it's this little message will pop up. It says, click to record the full screen. And I recommend you do that. Just click right here in this little bar. And we'll begin recording your entire screen. So as it's doing that, uh, I want you guys to talk through um, your different criterions D uh, strands one to four. So you can show me some of the results that you got from your classmates. So this was, uh, I asked you guys to create a form based on this. You should have some results. So, so pull up those results. It'll look something like this. Um, it'll generate those results for you. So tell me a little bit about what your classmates thought. Okay, did they think your uh, your scratch animation fit your audience. Okay, was it effective? Okay, how were the characters? Okay, so tell me what your classmates thought. And then in, in strand number two, tell me your own uh, your own thoughts. Okay, did you think it was su successful? So uh, maybe your, your classmates thought it was a failure, uh, but you thought it was a success. So uh, explain to me why you thought it was a success and how it matches your audience. Okay, point number three is quite straightforward. You can take your own ideas or you can talk about some of what your classmates have given you. Okay, how can your animation be improved? And lastly, uh, and the fourth point, uh, talk about the positive and the negative impacts of your project. So as it relates to your audience. So if you're promoting fidget spinners, tell me two positive things about having the fidget spinners and tell me two negative things potentially that um, might happen if they have fidget spinners. Okay, so don't just think about the positives, but also try to consider maybe some downsides of having fidget spinners as well. Right, uh, once you're finished your screen recording, uh, you can just hit escape and um, it should pull up this little window here. And I'm just gonna hit stop. And so this was the, the video that we were we had created. And once you're ready, just hit export. Now, don't choose 1080p. The, the file's going to be quite big. Uh, but although we are uploading it to YouTube, so it won't really matter. Uh, 720 pixels is good enough. So just put your name here so you recognize it on your desktop. Uh, you can put uh, scratch uh, evaluation. You just save that. And then uh, all of your school uh, Gmail accounts also comes with a YouTube account. So once it's finished exporting, uh, we can upload that to YouTube. So I'm going to, I think I've got YouTube opened up here already. And so just hit upload. So once you log into YouTube, um, there usually is an upload option here immediately. It's a little up arrow. And so you can find your video on your desktop. And so I think it was this one. So just drag and drop that in. And don't forget to uh, give me your hyperlink. Okay, your, your project is not finished as soon as you upload it. Okay, you do need to send me the hyperlink to your video so that I know where to find it. So uh, do submit that to me on uh, a Google Doc or something. Uh, but find a way to hand that in to me or submit that to me in uh, Google Classrooms. 
Right. Good luck with Criterion D, guys. Uh, it should be a lot easier than the other tasks. I hope you do well. Thank you for watching.